we have two soul hearts. I don't think we can be hit. I think, I think we're immortal. All right, now the boss is here, so we're gonna mess with this boss a lot. Oh, I did take damage. Okay, so I'm not totally immortal. Pretty close, but not quite. Hey friends, and welcome back to 20 Minutes Till Dawn. So today, I wanted to go through and show just how powerful the summoning update has been. Recently, there was a summoning update that released this character and also a bunch of additions and adjustments to summoning overall. So I wanna go through that and get into how good summoning has become. So we're gonna go all in on summons. There are new new synergies, so we're still looking for summon mastery, which means Vengeful Ghost and Scythe Mastery. However, Scythe Mastery and Vengeful Ghost have changed significantly, and we'll check that out a little later. All right, so we have Dark Arts right away. We have Soul Reap, which is also very good. I don't know which one we want. I think we're gonna probably go Soul Reap. This is another one of the new skills, but it is most powerful in that it gives you a temporary heart. Uh, but with this ability here, you can make that heart increase your maximum HP. All right, and we've got Soul Conversion right away. We can also get Dragon Egg, uh, but I'm hesitant to do Dragon Egg. Dragon Egg hasn't changed. And so the abilities of the dragon all work the same. But the dragon is already super powerful, so I'm going to skip it for now. Alright, so here we have two of our new and updated summoning skills. Number one, the knives are gone and only the scythe remains. But this is now entirely built around the scythe. Ghost friend has changed quite a bit as well. Ghost Friend shoots projectiles, and now they can inflict burn and trigger on hit effects, which means if we have curse, it does that as well. So we're going to go ahead and grab Ghost Friend as our first choice. I'm really starting to like this transformation ability. It's a lot more powerful than I thought it would be. Alright, ghost upgrade, of course. And every time we get into it, we gain invincibility for the duration of the ability. It's honestly pretty incredible. Alright, magic spear is another summon that's brand new. We summon two magic spears, they stab out and deal 20 damage. Here's another synergy we can start building on is Soul Drain. Every 400th enemy killed by a summon drops a soul heart, which means that 60 second timer is going to eventually give, give us max HP. Magic Spear deals additional damage for every max HP you have, and Magic Spear gains plus 15 damage every time you gain a soul heart. So Magic Spear and Soul Hearts have an incredible synergy. We're going to go ahead and grab this. All right, Vengeful Ghost is what we want here. Even though we want Magic Scythe in the end, I want Vengeful Ghost first, as that is a lot of our damage right now. Oh, wow. This character is incredible for bossing. Nature's Blessing, Character Size, Movement Speed, and Summon Damage. Alright, we don't really want any of these, so we're going to take Doom. I don't like any of these. Uh, I guess getting a form of healing would be nice. We'll do that. We'll go Pyro Mage and level it up to Soothing Warmth. Alright, here I'm going to try something out. Uh, there's another... There's another new skill called the Evasive for the update that released all the summons, and it gives you a chance to dodge incoming attacks. What I'm interested in, though, with this new character, since we have so much move speed, we get dodge 20, dodge 10, dodge 5, which gives us 35 total, 
and then a little bit of move speed right here right here we get 10 15 so 25 move speed and your dodge chance is increased by your bonus to move speed so with 25 coming from this tree alone that would put us at 60 percent chance to dodge we only have to make 40 percent more to get infinite dodge i think which makes us effectively immune to damage i don't know i want to try that out and see how it works All right, where is our boss? The field. All right. Not great timing, but that's okay. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and, again, skip Frenzy for Nimble, because uh, I'm now curious about the evasion. And I feel like our damage is doing just fine without it. Alright, and the boss is down, just like that. All right, this character might be a little overpowered. Okay. We could get move speed plus 50 right here. We're going to go with it. I don't think we have a real reason not to. We got a tiny. All right, Soul Drain is going to be incredible for us. So we're gonna go ahead and take that. We're gonna take that. See if we can't close out that tree pretty quickly. I think Holy Spear. I'm not hurting for healing yet. We're going to do that, and that closes that tree out for us. <laughs> we can get haste. Uh, we're going to avoid this, because I don't think we need it. I think that's overkill. We are going to grab this soothing warmth, though. Get a way for us to heal, even if we don't need it right now. Okay, so here we actually do want to pick up Magic Scythe. Again, as much as I like Frenzy, Magic Scythe is going to be better for us. Wow. This character is incredibly powerful. Now the boss is here, so we're going to mess with this boss a lot. Alright, and back to messing with the boss. That chance is increased by movement speed. All right, that's what we want, because we want to not take damage. I'll have to take a look and actually calculate how much dodge we have, but I, I believe we have a ton. When in deer form, automatically shoot out snowballs to deal 25% of your deer form's damage. Holy cow, why is it getting better? It's already so powerful. Okay, so let's go calculate how much movement speed we have. 
So we have 30% movement speed from our first upgrade. 10 here, 40%, 50 here, and I think 10 from another place. I think we're at 100% increased movement speed alone. Movement speed 15, so 105. I don't think we can be hit. Let's try it. Dodge. I'm watching my hearts right now. Oh, I'm in deer form, okay. Okay. So we have two soul hearts. I don't think we can be hit. I think, I think we're immortal. Trainer, summon damage. Okay, so here is the last tree uh, that we have increased. So summons deal 50% damage to nearby enemies. Summon damage plus 30%. Increase summon damage by 1% after every 15 enemies killed. And every 500 enemy drops a healing item. So summons no longer need to rely on other places of healing. We can get it all on our own. We're going to go ahead and grab that. As our deer, I believe, is has its damage increased by summons as well. And then we're just gonna stand in the middle and again watch our hearts because I believe we we can't take damage. All right, we're gonna go pulsing summons. For just some extra damage. All right, uh, <laughs> we get some more movement speed and magic sight. I don't think I've seen my hearts go down. Feed the beasts. Uh, which is absolutely incredibly OP. Oh, here we go. Okay. Can that do damage to us? Did that do damage to us? Yes, that did damage. Okay, so I can't dodge that. I don't really want any of these. I guess we'll go Eye of the Storm and start seeing if we can't. That's a really cool ability. Okay. This I'm pretty sure, right? Is it? Maybe it's not dealing damage. Maybe I just thought it was. Nope, we dodge it. I thought it did damage. Oh, I did take damage. Okay, so I'm not totally immortal. Pretty close, but not quite. All right, magic sight damage increased by bullet damage. I guess we could increase our move speed even more. I guess we can do Shadow Blade. Okay, 
summon a deer friend that deals 50% of your deer form's damage. That's incredible. Windborn. Gale's damage is increased by bonuses to move speed. Summon damage plus 10%. Gale damage increased damage. Uh, I think we'll go summon damage. We could get more speed. Why not? actually become immortal. Uh, we'll grab Ritual just to start closing out that tree, but it's not necessary. I was very unimpressed by this character's ability when I read it. Um... But having played it now, it's... I I really think it's overpowered. Oh, I am taking damage. Check that out. I'm not sure how, but it's happening. Summon to Mastery. I wonder if, uh, collision doesn't count, maybe? No, collision's... Hmm. I'm not sure how I'm taking damage. All right. Uh, the reindeer is, is a little OP. Just a little OP. I'm very surprised. Uh, I knew I knew the run was gonna go well, right? The the new summon stuff is just super powerful. If you add dragon into it, it gets even more crazy, because uh, dragon was already very powerful on its own. Um, I'm very happy with the the update they did to summons. I think it it put them in a very very strong position. And any of the summon characters or any character that. Uh, uses summon abilities is going to benefit. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the video down below, and I'll see you next time. Had to fight, misbehave. Had to find a way to change. Had to leave to find my way. Caught up in a daydream. I be in my mind up there almost.